Good morning. Am I audible? Hello. Am I audible? Am I audible? Hello, am I audible? No response. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, good morning to all of you. So, in the last class, we have discussed uh, the various types of rain gauges. That is a uh, non recording type of rain gauge and the recording type of rain gauges. And we have also discussed uh, the rain gauge density. So, how much rain gauge should be erected in a place depending on the area. And also, we have discussed how to calculate the average annual rainfall. So, average annual rainfall how to calculate the average annual rainfall in a particular area. And also, we have discussed based on the average annual rainfall, the areas can be designated as arid region, semi-arid region, and humid region. So now, so we know the uh, rules are the precautions to be taken while erecting the rain gauge. So, so many conditions have been given by IS standards. What are the steps to be followed in order to erect a rain gauge in a particular area? Now, we shall discuss some of the methods of estimating missing rainfall data at a particular place. Now, these are some of the methods by which you can estimate the missing rainfall data at a particular station by station year method and the normal ratio method. And the third one is the weighted average method. And the fourth one is double mass analysis. And uh, apart from this, you have one more method that is inverse square method. Inverse square method. It is also one of the method by which you can calculate the missing data at a particular station. So now these are the methods by which you can estimate the missing data at a particular station. Now, for example, now you have an area, area or a place where you have erected five rain gauge stations. Say, let us say A, B, C, D, E. So you have erected five rain gauge stations, whether it may be a recording type or non recording type of rain gauge. So in a particular month, in a particular month, in one of these stations, whether it may be A or it may be B or it may be C or it may be D or it may be E. So one of these stations, the rainfall data is missing. In one of these stations, the rainfall data is missing in a particular month. But the surrounding stations, the surrounding stations, suppose you have five stations, so wherein in one station you have the missing data, see other four stations, the surrounding stations, you have the rainfall data in that particular month. So the station in which the rainfall data is missing in that particular month can be calculated by using the station year method, the normal ratio method, the weighted average method, and the uh, inverse square method, and also by the double mass analysis. Now, the missing data at that particular station can be estimated by using one of these methods. But in all these five stations, in all these five stations, the annual average rainfall is available for all these stations. Only in a particular month, in some station, the rain record, rainfall records are not available due to technical reason or due to any other reason. So you can estimate, you can estimate the missing data at that particular station by the these methods. So now let us discuss these methods one by one. The first one is station year method. Now, now you can see here, if normal annual precipitation at each of these three nearest stations around the missing data station is within 10% of that missing data, use arithmetic average method of this station to estimate the current rainfall amount. So this is the first method, that is the station year method. So here you have nearly say four stations, A, B, C, D. So in one of the stations, that is say D station, the rainfall data is missing. Now, if the annual precipitation at these of, of these 
surrounding station, three surrounding stations around that missing data gauge is within 10% of that missing data, then you can use the arithmetic average method or the station year method in order to estimate the particular missing station. So this is given by the formula P cap is equal to 1 over N sigma I P I. So P I is nothing but the P I is the catch of the gauge I. That is you have a number of gauges that is from I to 1 to N. P I these are the rainfall recorded at this surrounding station and you need to estimate the missing data at a particular specimen, particular specimen say whether it may be PA or PB or PC or PD. So it is given by this expression P suffix S is equal to 1 over M into P1, P2 dash 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 up to PL. Here PA is nothing but the rainfall data at that particular station and this equation is conceptually simple but may not be accurate when the total annual catch of any of these surrounding gauges differ from the annual catch of the point of interest by more than 10 percent. So here the sentence formulation is uh, not correct. So what exactly it means is now you have four station A, B, C and in this particular station D the rainfall data is missing whereas the other three stations A, B, C, the rainfall data are available and the average annual rainfall for all these stations are available A, B, C, D. Only thing is in that particular month at station D the data is missing. So you can estimate that data by using the arithmetic average method or by station year method. And here see the deviation, the deviation in annual average annual rainfall less than 10 percent for the remaining three stations correct the remaining three stations then you can use this station here with that so if the deviation is more than 10 percent if the deviation is more than 10 percent for the surrounding station then you can use this arithmetic average method so you have to go in for the normal ratio method so here the deviation in the average annual rainfall should not be greater than 10 percent it should be within 10 percent then only you can use this arithmetic average method if it is more than 10 percent then you have to use the second method that is weighted average method now let us uh, work out a simple numerical problem on this now you can see here consider example consider the following data now you have the rain gauge stations say a b c so this is d that is at this particular station that is at station x the monthly precipitation data is missing here you can see here the monthly precipitation data is missing for the neighboring stations that is a b c you have the precipitation data in millimeters that is 26 31 and 23 respectively but for all these stations you have the average annual rainfall average annual rainfall that is 420 410 390, 410. So these are the average annual rainfall for all these stations, but only in that particular month at station X, the data is missing. Now, let us check whether the deviation in the average annual rainfall is greater than 10% or lesser than 10%. So if it is greater than 10%, you cannot use this station year method. You have to go in for the next method that is the weighted average method. Now, the 10% of the annual catch at gauge x so now you take the 10 percent of this that is 410 millimeter if you take 10 percent it works out to be 41 millimeter and the average annual catch of each of the three regional gauges is within plus or minus 40. now if you take the percentage percentage for this it is how much it is 42 correct 42 and this is 41 and this is 39 correct so 10 percent of the annual catch gauge x is 41 millimeter and the average annual catch of the three regional gauges is within plus or minus 41 so therefore the station average method can be used so here only at station a so here you have 42 millimeters which is greater than 
41 millimeters. So here you have a condition whether it may be plus or minus 41 millimeters. So it can be greater than 41 millimeters. So in our case, it is 42 millimeters. So hence you can use the station here, station average method to estimate the missing data at station X. Now you can see here. So this is the estimate catch at the gauge with the missing monthly precipitation total is P is equal to one third because you have three surrounding station. The average, sorry, monthly precipitation data is 26 plus 31 plus 23. So the missing data at this particular station works out to be 26.667 millimeters. So this is a simple uh, method wherein whatever the values that you get is not exact, it is approximate. So hence the station year method can be used only when the deviation in the annual average rainfall exceeds 10%, exceeds 10%. Now, this method is often used in flat areas with very less rainfall variability. So the places where you have a flat level ground and where the rainfall intensity is not variable. So in such cases, you can use this method to estimate the missing data at a particular station. Now, the next method is the normal ratio method. Normal ratio method, or it is also called as simple proportion method. Now, when the average annual rainfall, so this catches means it is also known as the average annual rainfall, differ by more than 10%, normal ratio method is preferable. Such differences might occur in regions where there are large differences in elevation, for example, regions where orographic effects are present, especially in coastal area, you have the orographic precipitation. So wherein you have this uh, difference in elevation, difference in elevation, you have the mountain ranges. So in such cases, you cannot use the station year method. And since the deviation in the annual average rainfall is if it is greater than 10% and if the area is, is not plain, so where you have the elevations, then you can use the normal ratio method or simple proportion method in order to calculate the missing data at a particular station. Now, the normal ratio method, the formula is Px is equal to Nx divided by M, open the bracket, P1 divided by N1, P2 divided by N2 plus and that's PM divided by PM. So where PEX is precipitation at the missing location. That is, we have to estimate the missing data at station X. And P to PM are precipitation at the surrounding rain gauge station. How many numbers of rain gauge station surrounding that particular station? Next, N1 to N1. NM is normal annual rainfall at the M surrounding rain gauge station. And NX is normal annual rain at the station X. That is, you know the normal annual rainfall, average annual rainfall at station X. Only in a particular month, you don't have the rainfall data. Now, and M is nothing but the number of rain gauges. So, wherever you have the deviation of average annual rainfall greater than 10%, and if the area is not plain, where you have the difference in elevation, you can use the normal rainfall, a simple problem. Now we shall put a numerical problem on this. So example to illustrate the normal ratio method, consider the following data. Now you have the rain gauges A, B, C, X, and you have the annual precipitation, annual precipitation, that is 410, 370, 460, and 400. And you have the monthly precipitation data in 24, 23, 21. And at this station, X, the data is missing. Now, if you take the average correct annual rainfall, 10% of the average annual, mm -hmm, sir. average annual rainfall, now you can see that is 10% of 400 is 40 millimeters. Sir. Hello? Sir, sorry for the disturbance, sir. Yeah. Sir, 1045 in the Mikdauru try martyr and the sir link open act till one time. So I have shared the link, same link. So wait a minute, I'll see. Okay, sir. Okay.
Okay. See, hello. I request all of you to log in for the class on time. Because I don't want any reason that because I have shared the link, Zoom link, to all the same with same ID and same password. How can uh, others cannot log in? I don't know. Hello. Say from next class, I will uh, wait for another five to ten minutes from the scheduled time. So then I will lock the meeting. Okay, now shall I continue? Hello? Somebody asked me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I'll continue because I can't wait because okay. from next class, whatever may be the scheduled time, so I'll again send the ID and uh, password, login ID, and I will wait for five minutes. So it is your login on time because I, I cannot wait. Okay. So now. Okay, sir. Thank you. Now at this station, if you take 10%, it is for 40 millimeters. Now you can see here, here at station C, if you take 10%, it is 46 millimeter. And here also, if you take 370, it is 37 millimeters. And here also it is same, about same. But here at station C, the deviation is more than 10%, the deviation, because here the deviation should be plus or minus, plus or minus the 40 millimeters. So here you can observe 44, 400, the range becomes, 360, correct? If I deduct 40 from 400, it is 360. And if I deduct, correct? 460, 460 minus 40, it is 420. So the range between is 360 to 420. It is more than 10 percent. So you cannot use the station here method. So now we shall use the simple proportion method by which we can calculate the missing data at this particular station. Now here. Uh, the solution for this problem, the monthly precipitation of gauge X is missing and can be estimated using the data from the table. The steps are to be followed. Calculate 10 this is X, which is 40 millimeters. So add and subtract 40 from the annual precipitation of gauge X to determine the range, which is from 360 to 40 millimeters. So check whether all the annual precipitation of these surrounding stations are within the above range. So that means for this X station, 10% is 40 millimeters. And if you deduct and add 40 millimeters to the whatever the annual rainfall, so the range will be 360 to 440. So now if you observe, the range is 360. You can see at station C, it is greater than 440. It is greater than 440, whereas other two stations are in the range. So hence, you cannot use the station here method. Now here, check whether all the annual precipitation of these stations are within. If at least one station is outside the range, use normal ratio method as indicated in the table. The annual precipitation of the is 460 millimeter, which is outside the range, so therefore, we use normal ratio method to determine the missing data station X. So basically, we have to look in for the variation or deviation in the annual rainfall at the particular station where the data is missing. And if the deviation is less than 10%, we can go in for the first method. So if the deviation is more in any one of the station, if the deviation is more than 10%, then we can use the simple proportion method or normal ratio method. Now, here you have a numerical problem. The normal annual rainfall per station A, B, C, D in a particular area are 80.97, 67.8, and 92.01 centimeters. 
So in a particular year, say 1975, the station D was in C recorded annual rainfall of so this so in that year 1925 the station D was inoperative and the station ABC recorded annual rainfall of 91. 72 and 79.8 respectively. Who is this? That is the red me. You know, this is the given problem. Now, as the normal annual rainfall varies by more than 10%, the ratio here, there is a spelling mistake, the ratio method is adopted. So it is given by, it is given by the formula, Px is equal to Nx divided by M, so open the bracket, P1 divided by N1, P2 divided by N2, plus Pm divided by Nm, so that you can estimate the missing data at station X, that is here, you can see here, the average annual rainfall at station D is 92.01, so that is 92.01, divided by the number of surrounding stations are 3, and P1, P1 sort of the 91.11, and N1 is 18.11. 97, that is the average annual rainfall for station A. Similarly, P2 is P2 is 72.23 and uh, N2 is 67.59. So similarly, P3 is 79.89 and N2 is 76.28. So on substitution, so you get the average annual rainfall as 99.41 centimeter so it looks like kilometer correct it is not kilometer it is one centimeter 99.41 centimeter so this is the method by which we can calculate the missing data at a particular station by using the simple proportion method or normal ratio method so next you have one more method one more method so which is called as the weighted average method weighted average method and sometimes this is also called as inverse square method inverse square method so both are same that is weighted average method or also it is also called as inverse square method so in this method this method is used by the u.s national weather service in studies of river forecasting in this method four quadrants are constructed that is north south and east-west lines passing through the Rheingay station where the data is missing or where the data need to be estimated. So one of the Rheingay station in each quadrant are selected which are very near to the Rheingay station under question. That means now you can see here, you can see this figure. You have a Rheingay, Rheingay station A, B. You have a Rheingay. So, I request all of you to mark your attendance in the chat box. 
So please mark your attendance in the chat box. So now you have five stations. So this is station A, and you have station B here, and you have station C here, and you have station D here, and you have station E. So you have totally five number of stations, five number of stations. So in this uh, weighted average method or inverse square method, so what we normally do is we'll pass a line through this station where the data is missing, that is from north south, and this is from east west, east west. So these are the two lines which passes through the station A where the rainfall data is missing or it need to be estimated. But in each quadrant, now by drawing this line through point A, so we are going to create four quadrants. So these are four quadrants, that is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Now these in these each of these quadrants, you have the rain gauge stations, that is B, C, D, and E. And the corresponding coordinate distances with respect to y and x are given. Now you can see here point B. So horizontally it is positive nine units, and vertically it is from this point it is horizontally it is nine, and vertically it is six. So similarly, station C it is horizontally twelve, and vertically it is nine, and similarly station D it is horizontally minus seven. And vertically minus six, and station E horizontally it is minus seven, and vertically it is plus seven. So these are the coordinate distances of all these stations. Now you have to estimate. You have to estimate the missing data at the, this particular station by using the weighted average method. So example in a river basin, a station A was inoperative during a storm while the stations B, C, and D surrounding the station A were in operation, recording 74 millimeters, 88 millimeters, 71 millimeters, and 18 millimeters of monthly rainfall. The coordinate of these stations are given in figures below. Estimate the missing monthly rainfall of station A by the inverse distance method. So both are same, the weighted average method and the inverse distance method. Now here, you can find out the missing data at station X by using this formula. That is one divided by R1 square into P1 plus one divided by R2 square into P2 plus one divided by R3 square into P3 plus one divided by R4 square into P4. That whole divided by one divided by R1 square plus one divided by R2 square plus one divided by R3 square plus one divided by R4 square. Now, here Px is the missing rainfall data station X, and P1, P2, P3, and P4 are recorded rainfall in the four stations that are present in four quadrants. And R1, R2, R3, R4 are the distances, corresponding distances from station X. Now, how to calculate this R1, R2, R3? Now, here this is your R1 from this point to this point and from this point to this point it's R2 and from this point to this point it is R3 and this point to this point it is R4. So here R1 is nothing but 9 square plus 6 square root and R2 is that is 12 square plus minus 9 square so minus sign goes up you will get R2. Similarly R3 minus 11 square plus minus 6 square R3 and similarly R4 that is minus 7 square plus 7 square whole root. So you'll get the values of R1, R2, R3, R4.
now you can see the solution for that given problem so i have calculated the values of r1 that is 9 square plus 6 square that is 10.81 similarly r2 r3 r4 and 1 over r square works out to be 8.5 to 10 power minus 3 so similarly 1 over r square 1 over r3 square 1 over r4 square so these are the values now you can substitute in this uh, given formula px is equal to 1 over r1 square into p1 plus 1 over r2 square into p2 plus 1 over r3 square into p3 plus 1 over r4 p4 divided by 1 over r1 square 1 over r2 square 1 over r3 square and 1 over r4 square so on substituting the values the value of px that is the missing data at station x works out to be 77.56 now it is the given problem here this is the solution for the given problem. Now you can see here it works out to be 77.529. So only thing is you have to find out the values of R1, R2, R3, R4. So these are the distances from the station X. So then you need to calculate 1 over R square. Correct? So that value you will get. So 1 over R square into these are the rainfall at these particular three stations that is 74, 88. 71 and 80 millimeters that is 1 over r square correct 1 over r square correct you can see here 1 over r square into p1 p1 is nothing but p1 is nothing but this one 74 p2 is 88 p3 is 71 and p4 is 80 m so on substitution you will get the value of p excess 77.52 centimeter so this is the method by which you can calculate the missing data at a particular station by inverse square method or it is also called as weighted average method and uh, since uh, the time is running out so tomorrow we shall meet at 9 20 am so we will discuss the next method that is the double mass analysis by which you can also estimate the missing data and also you can adjust the rainfall data at a particular station by using the double master analysis so uh, you have three and four methods by which you can estimate the missing data okay a railway station in a particular area by station year method, the normal ratio method, the weighted average method, and the double mass analysis. So, do you have any questions? Hello? Hello, do you have any questions? Anyone? I hope. Uh, the concept is clear is it is it so Now, uh, still we have another five minutes time. So I'll briefly explain uh, what is the importance of the double mass analysis in order to estimate the missing data and also adjust the rainfall record at that particular state, state station or rain gauge station. Now, uh, in, to use the double mass analysis, we need to know where, how, why, under what circumstances we need to use the double mass analysis now a consistent record is one where the characteristics of a record have not changed with time so consistency means the records what